Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of The Doctor Is In, your prescription to business transformation. I am Dr. Georgette Fraser-Moore, President and CEO of Transformation Lead, an Atlanta-based technology consulting firm, and a member of CompTIA's Board of Directors. In this series, our goal is to talk to tech companies and CompTIA members directly about exactly how they're leveraging emerging technologies to adapt and transform their businesses, how they're creating innovative new solutions, services, and strategies to foster long-term success. We wanna give you tangible, practical, and wonderful tips that, can implement, that you can implement directly into your businesses. Be sure to subscribe to this channel to be notified each time a new episode hits YouTube. Today, we'll be talking to Kieran Kenny, Director of McNamara ICT. Hey, Kieran, how are you? Hi, Georgia. Lovely to meet you. I'm very well, <laughs> thanks. And you? Definitely a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> um, Kieran, can you tell us a little bit about your company, who you are, and what you do? Sure. Uh, we've been around since 2003. We're based in London in the UK. Uh, we're a team of uh, six technical people and we work with uh, clients with between about five and 150 users, um, providing both uh, MSP services and security services. That's great. So based in the UK, you are a traditional managed services provider, but the development of Cyber Essentials, a government-based information assurance initiative, led you to look at look to transform your business. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so that, that was um, back in 2016 that mm -hmm. Cyber Essentials was um, developed. And we, as I said, we're working as a traditional MSP at that point, though we were increasingly conscious of the fact that we weren't covering security as a, a specific issue. So we were providing IT services like all, like all MSPs. And uh, as is often the case in that relationship, our clients were thinking probably they're covering uh, security. It's, it's probably okay. <laughs> And uh, we were conscious of the fact that we weren't. So li like um, like a lot of people in that type of relationship, there's a kind of a conspiracy of silence going going on where neither of us are mentioning it. <laughs> <laughs> now, that, that conspiracy of, of silence can definitely be a little bit challenging and creepy to maneuver around, right? But can you take us through that thought process of knowing that you needed to change the company and then designing and implementing that change? Yeah. So I think as everybody is is pretty aware of the extent to which cybersecurity has become more and more challenging, I think it's fair to say, especially over the last five or six years. So we we and and i believe cyber security is um integral to it they're not they're not separate things so they are separate areas of expertise now we 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 knew we were delivering the the it service and that we weren't delivering the the security service and so the the issue was to to face up to that and 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 break out of the conspiracy of silence. Wow. And admit that we weren't providing the security service, but obviously we couldn't just say, oh, we, we're just not doing it. We had to consider, well, do we pass this on to another company to deal with? Right. Or do we figure out a way we can do it ourselves? And obviously nobody likes to just pass business on to another company with mm -hmm. the risk to, to the client. Um, so we considered that this is something we would do ourselves, but in order to do it, we would need to invest seriously in training and certification so mm -hmm. that if we made the security claim in terms of our service, that it was fully backed up in terms of our ability to do it and the fact that we're certified to do it. So, um, so the, the the challenge was just to face up to that and and <laughs> and, and and figure out how how to get the the training done. 
So for the first time in, in our development as a, as a company, we, we recognized that we would have to budget for training and we would have to figure out the training requirement over a year or more than a year. Okay. And um, so we made a substantial investment for a company mm. of our size over over the first couple of years in the in the region of a hundred thousand pounds, which is a a big spend for a company of our size. As as I mentioned at the start, we're we're six people with a an appropriate level of turnover for six people. Wow. So so how important was that training for you? You mentioned having to make an investment of a of a, a grand investment for a smaller company, right? Yeah. Did you did you and you had to ramp up your security skills, the resources, and and update your offerings. How important yeah. was this for you, was this for you, your organization, and your customers? So it was critical. It it was uh, transformational for 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 us. Um, the first of all, we couldn't we 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 couldn't have added security into our offering without the training. That 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 was essential. Mm-hmm. Once security be, be, became first became part of our offering and later almost leads our offering mm-hmm. but 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 as it became part of our offering the conversation with clients changed so the the conspiracy of silence had to be broken we we we, we had to directly address the fact that Clients assumed we were providing security, but preferred not to ask. Right. Um, in 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 case we said no or not. So and and actually say to them, look, you know, we are your technology service provider, but to date we haven't been your security service provider, mm-hmm. and we want to be. We we're qualified to be, and we would like you to pay us to be your security service provider. But it's going to cost you more. Oh wow! Yeah, and, you know, and so as as you can expect, for for some a very small number of clients that was an unwelcome message. But for the the great majority, the, I I believe. They were relieved to have this out in the <laughs> open, <laughs> um, because, you know, because if 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 you're, um, you know, trying to make sure you sleep at night by not mentioning something, <laughs> it, right. it, it tends to catch up with well, catch up with you. So and I think. It seems like you guys were a little bit ahead of the curve, right? Because right now, more than ever, um, cybersecurity is on the rise. Cybersecurity threats, um, hackers are out there, especially now that people are working from home, they're more in cloud-based environments, they are, um, they're working from unsecured networks, they are, they're tapping into VPNs and things differently than they did in, in, in yep. previous times. And you guys started this initiative several years ago. Um, yeah. What challenges did you face along the way? So, well, I mentioned one already, which was uh, financing it as a yeah. as a as a small company. But other, the and and the other, of course, being the that conversation with clients. But the the um, probably the the biggest challenge was internal did our, ourselves, like fa- facing up to the um, to what we lacked, to what mm-hmm. we weren't able to do. And getting that um, message across to the guys in a way that wasn't undermining, or it was just yeah. this is the fact, this is what we lack, this is what we have to to fill in. Um, and in order to, like any, I think this is common with technology companies. We 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 consume our own product mm-hmm. as, as well, so. We um, to to be confident in offering security, we had we had to deploy all of the security tools and methods and policies and so on to to ourselves. Mm-hmm. That was challenging in a way, challenging to get the guys to take it seriously at the start <laughs> because you know we're we're a small company and suddenly we have a written policy on bring your own device and right. working from home and so, and so on 
and you know real really strict about admin passwords and, and so on but i'm a technician i mu i i must have the admin password so it was getting the guys to take this stuff seriously right uh, um and start to behave like a bigger company that mm -hmm. has those security needs and then face what for us was a demanding challenge in being externally audited and certified against the standards wow so that, so, that would no go ahead i, I was just going to conclude by saying that that was kind of big for us to make that that, 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 that was huge i was i was, I was about to come <laughs> come and comment the same thing <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, communication is key. So the digital transformations, one of the number one things that companies lack is true communications. That's both, both internal and external to those that are impacted and all of the stakeholders. Yeah. How important was communication with your customers during this process? And how did those conversations go? So the, the customer communication was vital that, that 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 in a way that's what what led this once once we um you know broke the conspiracy of silence and right. and 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 started to talk to the customers we we found so i i was uh nervous about having that conversation <laughs> of, of course <laughs> that, that, that we're, we're going to admit that we haven't been providing you with maybe things you think we have mm -hmm. and we're going to ask you for more money so that 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 that, that was a, a nerve-wracking path to embark on but what i found was that uh, as i mentioned a few minutes ago people welcomed the conversation mm -hmm. most people welcomed the conversation but in in fact it it kind of became a much more grown up conversation than we'd previously had with clients where we only talked about technology. Once mm. we're talking about security, we're talking about business processes. Right. And 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 we're we're into a much more grown up relationship with the um the client. So the con the conversations that I feared and we all we all feared became the the um the you know the 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 motor of the of the, of this whole process the communication yeah. with the clients you, you mentioned that fear that fear is real right the, the fear oh, of change yeah. is real and if it's not if it's not scaring you usually it's not challenging you and it's not transforming you whether it's an organization a person or anything else um, I agree. You, you just get, gave some really key components about things that you've learned along the way what are, what what was there anything else that you learned along the way or is there, were there any side benefits that you found as you were going through this transformational process well um a major side benefit I, I i mentioned about that we 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 went through the audit process and yes. the, the the process of getting the guys to take this thing seriously and that's really resulted in a much more cohesive team mm -hmm. so wh while it was a a, a bit of a a step up at at first to to for the guys to behave like they're in a bigger organization than they had been they as far as i can see value the fact that they're treated more seriously and their job is treated more seriously and we're still a small company but we we now have many of the attributes in security terms of a much bigger company and the guys behave accordingly and it, it it raises them as professionals mm -hmm. and, and and as as a cohesive team mm -hmm. and then of course the other major benefit which which is not why we went into it but the point i made about the more grown up conversation mm -hmm. allows us to have more grown up conversations with more grown up companies bigger wow. companies um, that's a lot of opportunity that that probably opened up for your organization. That's right. That's right. P people, we would have been. Uh, well, I I started using the word fear, so I might as well continue. People, <laughs> we would have been afraid to approach right. a few years ago. We're we're um, a good deal more confident about it now. Wow, Karen, is there anything that you would have done differently? I think I would have. Um, approach this sooner than i did at, at, <laughs> at, i spent a, 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 a you spend a lot of time 
fire, you know, holding back the tide. Right. You, you you see where things are going, but you you um, hope that maybe we can continue just 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 as we are. But but um, I'm so glad we you know we embarked on that transformation and. Um, it's a bit trite to say, but I, I only wish we'd done it sooner. <laughs> wow, wow, that's amazing. So, I mean, I know the answer to this one already, but from 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 your perspective, Kieran, how successful has this transformation been for your organization and your customers? Well, it's we are taking on bigger clients than ever before, and I would say servicing them better than than ever before. And for all our clients, big, big and small, the the conspiracy of silence is gone. They they <laughs> get they get they don't just get reports from us about their technology. They get reports about their security, and we we all know where things are security wise. So that the you know the secret is out of the closet. Yes, <laughs> and I, and I I think that's a benefit for for us and for the clients. The that clients are, are happier. That's definitely a benefit for you and your customers. You're doing some really great things in this space. Our company here at Transformation Lead does a lot with helping organizations from on the public and private sector do these type of digital transformations internally. And you are doing all of the right things. You are you started out with an idea, you communicated that idea, you said you, you found buy-in within your company. You had to have some difficult conversations with your technicians when they weren't ready, they weren't ready for this change because you know change is hard and it's not easy. And and if it's if it doesn't scare you, I, I, I said I think I said this earlier, if it doesn't scare you, it doesn't change you and change is required to move forward and to grow. And you had to have those same conversations with your clients that may not have been easy, but now their, their, their systems are secure and they were ready for this change and, and they were ready for COVID-19 to come because they knew now more than ever before that their systems were monitored and covered by McNamara and that you guys were doing the very best you can to keep them up to date as an MSP. And I think that is extraordinary in itself. What advice Karen, do you have for CompTIA members that are watching and thinking of business transformation, but they're unsure of where to start? Where would you tell them to, 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 to begin? Based on our experience, it's, a, it's, it's about stepping out of the comfort zone. I, 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 I guess probably first for the, the, the leaders of, the, of the, the organizations to consider and ask themselves why, you know, the basic question why why do we do what we do or why do we only do what we do okay. is is that there, there some some other stuff here and what's stopping us yes and i i i i think we're not unique in in discovering that that often what's stopping you is fair mm -hmm. that that and and you know possibly well-founded fear we're not we're not trained to do this we can't do it okay get trained <laughs> um the the, the so, so it's it's stepping out of your comfort zone and facing up to what you lack as a business and considering how can you plug that that gap you 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 can't do it all at one go you mm. know look look two years or so ahead and how am I going to have plugged that gap at the end of that time? And you definitely did that. You definitely looked at that and, and you prepared. You, you got your team ready and you got your clients ready for, for, for things that they didn't that they didn't know was coming. I, for one, am definitely going to be paying attention to McNamara going forward. And I'm sure that our users and other CompTIA members will be plugged in. And you may, you may, you may see some, some extra, extra people reaching out to connect to find out from your experience um, what, what they can learn and be able to help do some of the things that you've done right. Part of business is always thinking ahead. And Karen, I wanna ask you this question. So what is next for McNamara? Well, for, for us, uh, well, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. we, we have been able to have those more grown up conversations with more grown up companies, but it, it's taken us a long time to get for our marketing to, to, to catch up with that. Where, you know, we started as, as me and we had a, a few small clients and then we got a bit bigger and our clients got a bit bigger and now we 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 are hitting the clients we, we you know we let's say we always dreamed about um <laughs> the, the um but we we we've had to now transform our marketing to yes. to um 
to reflect that 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 we have you know we're confident enough to go after these bigger businesses so let's get the marketing up to speed with that so that's kind of our focus now the the and we 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 we're we, that's bearing fruit we we yeah. we are onboarding bigger and better clients than ever that's great before. and that's going to lead to a lot of a lot more growth um thank you so much karen unfortunately that's all the time we have for today's episode but i want to thank you so much for being for, for talking with us about how mcnamara ict is leveraging emerging technologies to position themselves for new opportunities for long-term success and i definitely once we're able to, to to travel again and not be virtual and i'm back in the uk on a regular basis i definitely would love to take you out to coffee and, and learn more about what you're doing and what your company is doing and, and where you've transformed to then. But thank you so much for coming and, and, and meeting with us today. And we look forward to seeing you going forward. You're very welcome. Th thank you for having me on. And I do hope we can have that coffee. That would be Definitely. great. Definitely. <laughs> if you'd like to read more about McNamara ICT, you can find the link to their business of technology use case in the description below. And thank you viewers for tuning in today as well. Also, if you'd like to learn more about cybersecurity, join CompTIA's IT security community through the link in the description too. To catch more episodes of The Doctor Is In, please check out The Doctor Is In playlist on this YouTube channel linked in the description. And be sure to hit subscribe. The subscribes button is right down there and be notified when new episodes are available. On behalf of CompTIA, I am Dr. Georgette Fraser-Moore. Have a great day.